Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60, six day challenge 9.0, and today is day 36. So today we're gonna start training in on the campaigns applet. We're gonna talk about the four different main types of campaigns that we can run and some setup that we're gonna to wanna to do ahead of time to make sure that all of those campaigns run smoothly. So our campaigns applet, it's our megaphone icon. It's the seventh one down here on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and click on that megaphone. And when we do, we get taken to the campaigns home screen. So as a review here, we've got five tabs across the top. The first tab is our dashboard, which is sort of the all encompassing tab, if you will. And then we have a tab for each one of the types of campaigns that we can run. <clears throat> so we've got paid ads. Those are social based ads that can be run on Facebook. They can be run on Google. I mean, uh, yeah, Google AdWords, Instagram. Um, you know, you'll see when we dive into that, the different ways that we can run those ads and which channels we can select. Next up, we've got emails. So you can run email campaigns. You can utilize your command mail account. So KW Command actually gives you 5,000 free emails per month to utilize for one-off emails, smart plan emails, and then email campaigns. You can also connect a MailChimp account. So if you have a MailChimp account, you prefer to use that. We can connect that and use that for email campaigns as well. Direct mail, exactly what you're thinking, postcards to your mailbox. So good old fashioned USPS, uh, sending out things like just listed, just sold, that type of postcard. And then finally, you've got social posts, uh, posts that you can fire immediately to your social channels or actually schedule out ahead of time. Uh, top right here, we've got payments. This is something that you're gonna wanna set up if you're doing any sort of paid campaign. So that means paid ads or direct mail. Uh, you're gonna wanna have actually just paid ads. Direct mail actually ask you for your card during that process. So this is really just for your paid ads for Facebook, Google, Instagram, etc. Uh, as always, if we want to start a new campaign, we've got our blue green button. Uh, we've got a security update, a little blue box that pops up regularly. Scrolling down, you've got a lot of training and then you've got some quick posts. So streamlined paid ads, you've got a learn more button here. Then you've got some get started links. I'm going to come back to these in just a second. We've got quick posts, which are going to be used for your social posts. And we're going to do that tomorrow. And then finally down here at the bottom, you've got some additional tips and training. So if you wanted to create and manage social posts, you've got a step-by-step -step video there, how to create a listing ad, step-by-step -step video there, and then set up for success, Facebook and Instagram paid ads. You've even got a toggle here where you can look up advanced tips and then start getting some additional stuff. So neighborhood, smart video, social post. Uh, we showed you how to create that video. And we're gonna show you how to make that post here shortly, how to track your campaign results and how to send a newsletter email campaign. Scrolling back up to the top, in order to get us set for success, we do need to do a few things. So the first thing is to manage social posts and email channels. When we click on this link, it's gonna take us into a box. It's really a direct connect to our settings menu and shows, hey, do you have your Facebook post scheduling account connected? Do you have Twitter connected if you're gonna do post scheduling there? And do you have MailChimp connected if you're gonna do email campaigns there? So you can see I've already connected my Facebook. If I wanted to, I could come in and you can see connect a new Twitter account. So I can click on that. And I think this is because I have a pro coach account that is not letting us make that Twitter connection. Um, but let's try going into settings and we'll just try it one more time. I did have some hiccups on the pro coach side here. But if we go down into our settings menu, the second way that we can do that is from our connected applications menu here inside of settings. So you can see Facebook post scheduling is already connected. I can come down to Instagram post scheduling. I would say connect account. And then basically it's going to ask me to either log in or continue on if I've already logged in. And it'll take me through the process. Hey, here's all the Instagram accounts. I only have one. So I would connect on that and then connect. And again, that's an Instagram business account that is important to note. Same thing with your Facebook. Uh, it does need to be a business page. You're connecting to your social profile, but it's gonna show you which business page you have available. So you can see if I click on manage, I can disconnect. If I go back through that process to reconnect, it's gonna show I actually have multiple business pages. It'll allow you to check off which ones you actually want to connect. So I'm gonna connect my personal business page 
and now I've got Facebook connected. I've got Instagram connected. I can come down and do uh, Twitter. Actually, I don't think we're doing post scheduling on Twitter any longer, but yeah, because it's not letting me go through. Uh, but then you also have Ads Manager. So the first two that we did, we did through social posts. You can see we used to connect the social channels inside of our marketing automation ads. You can see now it's gonna tell you, hey, you gotta go to your pay to add settings. And we can do that. And that's gonna take us into, right, and there's some, yeah, it's not gonna authenticate me because it's a pro coach account. Uh, we'll do that when we get to paid ads. I'll actually transition over to my personal KW command account so that we can make sure that that happens. But for right now, the most important thing, especially for tomorrow's video, is to get your post scheduling connected, right? Choose which business pages on Facebook, which business account on Instagram you want connected, and be ready to go because tomorrow, we're gonna dive into our first campaign type, and that's gonna be your social posts. I'm gonna show you how to do a quick post where in a matter of seconds, you can have a post ready to go to post to your social channels. I'm gonna show you how to do an immediate post so we can create a post and have it go out immediately to our social channels. And then I'm gonna show you how you can actually schedule out a post and then view what posts you have scheduled with the calendar tool. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.